Hi guys, my name is Shaf, and I'll be handling the second half of the videos. So uh, that the topics are beams and beam columns and frames. Uh, just to give you an overview for the topic of beams, what I'll be covering is the uh, section modulus and section capacities, and the interaction between shear and bending, and last but not least, flexural torsional buckling. Uh, just with respect to uh, all beam questions, as I've written here, the key to them really is drawing the BMDs. I cannot stress this enough. Um, so when you're given any forces or UDLs on any sort of beam, you should be able to draw them. Uh, so what I've drawn here is a BMD for this UDL, which is simply supported. And uh, it is drawn on the compression face. And that's basically shown in this black line here. And uh, the dashed line shows it, if it was drawn on the tension face. Uh, most commonly in steel, we draw on the compression face, but um, it's sort of a bit of personal choice. Uh, just as a refresher, I've included an example of how you would calculate the BMD and the SFD, uh, just to sort of uh, revisit structural mechanics. So the first thing for this, we've got a point load in the center, L on 2, uh, for a simply supported beam, and basically because, uh, so we've got AX and AY at the fixed support and BY at the roller or pin support. And what we find is that the sum of the forces in the X direction are equal to zero. And uh, the sum of the forces in the Y direction are equal to zero, just to maintain equilibrium. So we find AX equals zero. And for the Y direction, we find P is equal to AY plus BY. And because of symmetry, AY equals BY. So what we find is AY equals BY equals P on 2. 